Hello, wonderful human being. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today for this gentle, stretchy, soothing flow. Please only do the, what feels good for you. If there's anything that I suggest that doesn't work, just do something different or something else. And yeah, have fun. So we start by sitting comfortably. Now the way we are sitting, if that's not comfortable for you, please sit in any way that is. You are even welcome to lie down. Perhaps close your eyes and start to take nice, long, lazy inhales and exhales. Relax your shoulders. Sink your sit bones towards the floor and perhaps lengthen up gently through the crown of your head. Notice any sensations on your skin. Connect with your breath. Start to connect with your body. Feel how you feel today without any extra meaning to it. Meaning it doesn't mean that feeling happy is good and feeling sad is bad. It just is what it is. Just breathe. And let go. Let go of what's going on today. What's going on today in the world. What's going on in your life. See if you can be in the present moment right now. And just focus on your breathing. Your mind might wander. And when it does, return to your breath. The breath is an awesome agent to keep you present. If thoughts come up, you might notice them, but then just let them go. The first movement we're about to make is you're going to walk your left fingertips out towards the left side and shift your hips down towards the floor. So it's, if you were lying down, you can start to move that direction. And then just raise your right arm up to the sky and over your head. You're meant to feel a nice deep stretch through the right side. You can move around here if you feel like it. You can add any movement at any stage. Whatever feels good. Does not matter what it looks like. Also, your body is going to look different than ours. So just honor that. Come up to center and do the same thing on the other side. Walking your right fingertips away from you. Shifting the hips down to the floor. Left palm goes up. Again, if this doesn't feel good on your knees, do it in a different way. You don't even have to sit on the floor. You can stay seated on your heels or on the floor. Again, add any movement here that feels good. Come back to center. And then walk your hands forward and come on to your hands and knees for tabletop. Moving here in any delicious way. Any... Thing that feels soothing to you, that makes you feel connected and safe. Connected with yourself, connected with Mother Earth. So wherever you are, you are on top of something like a mat or a floor or on the ground. And that is carrying you right now. It's not going to fall through. You're not going to fall into a hole. <laughs> so trust that you are being kept safe. Trust that all is well, even though sometimes it doesn't feel like that or it doesn't seem like that. Just trust. Go inwards. And breathe. So if you'd like to join me, walk your fingertips in such a way that they point backwards to get a stretch through the forearms. You can maybe shift the weight backwards and forwards to open the wrists a bit. And then slide your right foot over towards the right, more or less in line with your left knee. And then you can choose, either you can walk your fingertips towards that foot or to the opposite side. If you'd like, you can float the palms over your head and reach nice and high. Maybe move here if you feel like it. Again, you're not... Trying to make perfect lines or have the perfect alignment. You really just want to feel yourself. 
where you need a stretch, where you need to be nurtured, it is important to tune in with your body. So do the same thing on the other side. Left foot slides out towards the left. Maybe you want to do something different here. Again, tune in with what this side requires. If you want to, you can float the palms up over your head. Um, connecting with your body, tuning in with yourself more will really serve you in other areas of life. So breathe here. This might be a very simple and easy move. And at the same time, don't see it like that. Just treat every movement like it's awesome, like it's a miracle. Come back onto your hands and knees. And then come up into your first downward dog. So walk it out here if you feel like it. Bend your knees as much as you want. Invite your chest back towards your knees. Please make sure that you're pressing into the fingertips here just to avoid dumping into the wrists. Again, this doesn't matter what it looks like. Your downward dog could be super straight or maybe you're not able to straighten your legs or your spine. Again, it doesn't matter as long as it feels good and it's safe. And you're creating enough effort to support your body. Lazily and messily walk to the front of your mat and then just hang loose here. Again, move if you feel like it. Maybe shift the weight a little bit side to side or forward and backwards just to explore the weight through your feet. So we're going to straighten the right leg, bend the left leg and open the right arm to the right just to go into a gentle stretch here. And then same thing on the other side, bending the knees and then straighten the left leg, left palm floats up. And then release, bend the knees a lot and then slowly unroll all the way up. Float the fingertips up into the sky. Lengthen the tailbone down to the floor. Make a big circle with your arms around yourself and interlace the fingers behind your spine. Squeeze the shoulder blades gently towards each other. Press the wrist down towards the floor. Lengthen the tailbone and then puff the chest up towards the sky. If you'd like, you can lift the chin up. Rather focus on lengthening through the head. Take a nice big inhalation, lengthen. And then you exhale, bend the knees and fold all the way down. A gentle squeeze through the shoulder blades. Don't force this at all. You can see how Harami and I are looking different here. So honor your body. Release the arms. And then gently step the right foot all the way back. Release the knee down. Scooch the left foot over towards the left and walk both the hands on the inside of that foot. Add any movement here that feels delicious. You can choose to keep the back toes tucked or untucked. Again, make sure you're not collapsing in here completely. Press into that left foot just enough to support you. Especially people that are super flexible tend to hang in here. So keep it safe. Maybe lengthen through the spine a bit. You can choose to hang the head low or lengthen up. And then start to straighten the left leg. A little or a lot. Make sure that you're not sitting back towards the heel. You want to keep the hip, the hips more or less on top of your right knee. Focus more on lengthening the spine forward. So you're meant to get a nice stretch through the calf muscles here and the hamstrings. At the same time, not forcing at all. This is meant to feel soothing and delicious. Not sore, not like torture. Rebend the front leg, palms on the inside, and then bend the back knee, bring the foot up towards your bum, and if possible, get a hold of the foot. You could, if you'd like, slide your left elbow on top of your left knee. Now very gently press the foot against your bum without any force. You're only meant to get a stretch through the quads and breathe. Again, you're stepping or pressing into the left foot enough for support. You want that knee on top of the ankle, not over. Then you're sinking into it too far. 
cool release palms on either side and then step back on into plank pose drop the knees shift back into child pose keeping the toes tucked and then come forward and very mindfully release into a cobra so the idea is that you lengthen through the lower spine round through the spine come up into downward arc again you can walk it out as often as much as you like remember to breathe press into the fingertips lift the bum high And then step the right foot between the thumbs. We're doing exactly the same thing on this side. So release the back knee. And then walk both the palms on the inside of your right foot. Make space by scooching that right foot over to the side. And then move in any delicious and juicy way. And breathe. So you can come up onto the fingertips. You can bring the elbows down if you'd like. You can lengthen through the spine. Make sure that you're not dumping here so that the right knee is stacked on top. And then we straighten that right leg. You can stay high up, lengthen through the spine. You can straighten the leg. What I like to do here on this side was bend my leg and then straighten the leg because that felt great. And breathe, stay mindful. Engage the right foot slightly. Now re bend the leg, both palms in the inside. Get hold of your left foot, bring that foot gently towards your bum without any force. What I forgot to mention is that you can pad up underneath that knee for extra support, which is totally recommended. Again, you can come up onto the elbow, onto the right knee or not. Gently release. Step the back foot to the front into a nice wide squat. Please stay very mindful here. So big toes may be outwards or facing straight forward, whatever serves your knees best. If this feels horrible on your knees, please do not do it. So we're having a little discussion here about heels down to the floor or not. I like to bring the heels down, but I can only do it if my feet are wide. Then this feels good on my knees. So please only do what feels good. You can always slide something underneath your heels for support. For some people, this is super easy to do. Again, if this is, listen to your knees. Make sure you're not dumping into the knees here or not just hanging here. So just pressing into the feet enough. Especially for the next part when you stand up. Float the palms up over your head. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, draw a circle around you. Interlace the fingers behind your back. Gentle squeeze of the shoulder blades. Puff up the chest without collapsing in the lower spine. So tailbone draws downwards. Bend the knees and then fold all the way down over yourself. Release the arms. This time come halfway up. Flatten the spine. And then fold. This time we're going to step the left foot all the way back. You can decide. You can drop the knee down if it's too much not to. Otherwise, unroll all the way straight up here into a high lunge. Please listen to your body. I like to bend my back leg a lot because that's just how it feels better on my body. Make sure that you're not dumping into the lower spine here. Remember to breathe. Maybe squeeze the feet slightly towards each other just for support. But also make this feel gentle and stretchy and juicy. Round the spine here and then twist towards your right. So you can either bring the palms to touch or bring your thumbs to your collarbones. Very gently touch the left elbow towards your knee. So you're not forcing that elbow against the knee and then forcing the twist. It's very gentle. Release the palms down and step back with the right foot into plank. Drop the knees down. Push back towards child pose. 
slide forward into cobra so hips forward lengthen through the spine roll the shoulders back the idea is to lengthen the spine here not dump and then return into a downward dog lifting the bum up into the sky without dumping the lower spine even though this is a gentle stretchy soothing flow you still want to support the body and not just collapse This time we're going to step the left foot between the hands and do the same thing. Come up into a high lunge. Unless, of course, you would like to drop the back knee down, then that's fine. Float the palms up over your head. Some people like to bring the palms together. I do not like this. So again, please do only what feels good for you. Round the spine, you can either bring the thumbs together, thumbs to collarbones or palms together. Twist to the left without moving the hips. Touching the right elbow gently to the left knee. Keeping the back leg strong enough to support you. You're not forcing this twist at all. Keeping the belly soft, palms down. Step the back foot to meet the front. And then release the head. Once you're ready, unroll all the way up. Float the palms up over your head. Take a nice big inhale, lengthen. With your exhale, big circle around you. Bend the knees and then fold. Oh, sorry, apparently we're staying here for a little bit longer, squeezing the shoulder blades, puffing the chest, and then fold. It's actually the same thing we've been doing, hey? Release the arms. Flatten the spine. And then fold. Step back with the right foot. And then we're twisting to the left. Float the left palm up into the sky. Release. Come up into our high lunge. And then opening up into warrior two. So right heel just lands gently to the floor. Round the lower spine a tight bit. A slight bit. Sorry, what am I saying? Tilting the pubic bone forward straighten both the legs float the palms up over your head and then re-bend into warrior two we do this twice more inhale straighten and then bend into warrior two exhale last time straighten this time keep the legs semi-straight and then into triangle pose so left palm towards the shin or the thigh right palm floats up the focus more here is to twist the belly towards the sky you can bend the knees as much as you want Breathe and stay mindful. If you'd like to step the feet closer in, that's also fine. We're going to lift up into reverse triangle so floating the left palm up over your head and then re-bend the left leg into warrior two place both the palms down to the floor and then preparing for pyramid pose so you can either step the back foot closer in if you'd like i like to do that because my hamstrings are very tight the idea is that both legs are more or less straight and both heels are touching the floor. If that's not the case, that's also fine. As long as you are getting a stretch and this feels good for you. Lengthen through the spine a bit and then hang the head. Or just look towards your toes. We're going to step back into plank pose. Drop the knees down. Push back towards child pose. And then gently roll forward towards cobra or upward dog again the focus is on keeping the lower spine long and strong roll the shoulders back and away from the ears and then roll back bone by bone up into downward dog on this side we'll be stepping the right foot between your hands preparing for half Pigeon, please stay very, very mindful on your knee here. So scooching the right foot over towards the left. Drop the back knee down first. That knee does not have to be at any specific angle. Whatever angle is going to make this feel safe. 
and that will help you get a stretch. If you want to slide a pillow or a book underneath your thigh, the right or the left thigh for support, please go for it. I'm very tight here, so I have a very high foam roller here for me to support. Lengthen through the spine, you can choose to stay up onto your fingertips. There you will feel it a little bit more in the lower spine probably. Or you can come down into the elbows or even all the way down to the floor. Especially if you are very flexible here, please make sure that you are not dumping into the hips and into the knees and into the spine. So just a little bit of a press into that right foot for support, a press into the back foot for support, just enough. Remember to stay mindful and breathe here. I have little how to do um, poses like downward dog and half pigeon and a whole bunch of other ones on my YouTube channel. I'll put the links up in this video also. If you are not familiar with these poses, then you can go and have a look. We're going to sit the right hip down to the floor and slide the left foot on the outside of the right knee or in front of the knee and then open twist towards the right. If you want a deeper twist, then go towards the left like Hermi is doing over here. Stay mindful, keep the belly soft and breathe. You can choose to look over your right shoulder or not. Now we're going to count a twist towards the other side. So whether you've done an open twist or close one, either way, you're going to have both. And then stand at the front of the mat and fold. Unroll all the way up, fingertips to the sky, big inhale, big circle around you, interlace the fingers, puff up the chest, lengthen the lower spine, big inhale. Bend the knees, exhale, fold, or just move in your own breath. Release the hands, flatten the spine, maybe inhale, and then fold, exhale. Step the left foot all the way back. Once you're ready, we're going to twist to the right. Left fingertips are softly touching the floor or the whole palm, but not collapsing into it. Right palm to the sky. And then come up into a high lunge once you are ready. Big inhale lengthens you. And then exhale. Go a little bit deeper. Open up into warrior two. So the right knee stays in line with the toes the same direction the left heel goes down big inhalation floats both palms up and straighten both the legs and then rebend inhale straighten rebend with your exhale last time straighten inhale into triangle right palm towards the shin or thigh or even to the floor left palm up but make sure that if you are bringing the right palm to the floor that you're not collapsing here you want to create freedom here in the ribs in the whole body you don't want to feel that you're hanging anywhere or struggling anywhere or holding any weight you want to feel as easy and light and gentle as possible again if you want to step the feet closer in go for it we come up into reverse triangle right palm floats up to the sky left palm towards the thigh rebend into warrior two both the palms down to the floor for pyramid so again if you'd like to step the back foot closer in Straighten both the legs. You're not forcing here in any way. If you want to add any movements here, go for it. Even if you feel like your body is yearning for a twist here, go for it. Stay mindful. What are the hips up to? Is there any way that you can make this feel better on the body, safer? Please listen to the body and not the mind. Have fun. Back into plank pose, drop the knees, push the bum back to child pose, come forward into upward arc or cobra, strong legs, just enough to support you, and then back up into downward arc. This time the left foot is going to step forward to prepare for half pigeon pose. You can stay in your downward arc a little bit longer if you'd like. Once ready for pigeon, drop the back knee down. Again, very, very mindfully. This is so important. Walk that foot over to the right. If this does not feel right at all, absolutely omit this. You can always roll over onto your back and rather place a foot on top of the opposite knee. 
Again, I could have suggested it on the other side and I didn't. I forgot. Um, listen to the body. Maybe on this side you can come all the way down. Maybe you can't. Don't let the mind fool you and go like, yo, I can do this. I can go deeper. <laughs> listen to the body. What does the body want? Sometimes less is more. Totally. Breathe. Let this be soothing. If this is a horrible pose for you, get out of it. Do something else that makes you happy. And stay connected. Stay connected with your breath. Let the breaths be nice and easy. And long. Come up. Sit the left bum down and swing the right foot either in front of the left knee or around to the left side. And then you choose open twist to the left or close twist to the right. The one is going to be slightly deeper than the other one. So choose. Have both sit bones touch the floor. Look whichever direction feels best for you. And stay mindful. So counter twist the other direction, just a short little twist. And then release, we meet at the front of the mat. Fold over your legs. And then unroll all the way up, bend the knees. Float the palms up over your head, take a big inhale. And then a big exhale, release the arms, interlace the fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades gently, puff up the chest, big inhale. Exhale, bend the knees and fold. Release the arms, flatten the spine, come halfway up. We go into a gentle squat again. Please stay very mindful on your knees. You can skip this one if you want. We're going to sit down onto the bum straight after this anyway. So you can just sit down eventually or... Enjoy a last squat. We sit down onto the sit bones. Scoot yourself more or less somewhere in the middle of your mat. Because you are going to lie down eventually from here. And then roll all the way down to the floor. Hug your knees into your chest. And roll around here. Any movements that feel good to you. Go for it. If a happy baby feels like a good idea, go for that. We are hugging our right knees into the chest. Now you can just side to either extend through the left leg or step the left foot into the floor for support. A gentle squeeze, so not completely pushing this knee down. And then maybe open it a little bit towards the right side if that feels good. And breathe, so keeping the belly soft here. We're going to a twist, so the left palm is gently bring that knee over towards the right. You can extend the right arm if you want. You can choose what you want to add here or if you don't want to add anything. So you can bend the top leg or straighten it. You can bend the bottom leg. You can hold the bottom leg's foot. Whatever feels good for you. Breathe. You only go as deep as you feel like with the body, not with the mind. And then once you are ready, we come back to the center and you do exactly the same thing on the other side. So hug both the knees into the chest first. Hug the right knee and then bring the left knee in and swap. So holding left knee, right leg extends or you step the foot into the floor. And then if you'd like, you can open the left knee a little bit more up towards your left shoulder. Or you can keep it in the center. Keeping the belly soft, the neck easy and long. And breathe. You stay here as long as you want. Once you're ready, we're going to a twist. So releasing the left palm. Right palm brings the left knee gently over towards the right. You're not aiming to touch the knee to the floor or anything. You are only aiming to twist and feel delicious. So any modification here, anything you want to add, go for it. Breathe. Support yourself. In any way that you feel like. 
looking in any direction that feels best. Come back to center, a gentle squeeze with the left knee in, bring the right knee in. And then happy baby could be an option. Holding the feet from the outside, but the elbows on the inside. The lower spine touching the floor. Move around here or not. If this is not nice for you, don't do it. If you want to support your neck in any way, go for it. It looks like Harami is having a good time here. <laughs> then once you really place the feet, the soles of the feet against each other, relax the knees. Again, if this doesn't feel good, straighten the legs instead. I felt like I wanted to lift my chest up just a last movement. So if there's anything you want to add before we lie down onto the floor, please go ahead and do that. And then once you really get the most comfortable position on the floor that you can find, if that means that you want to be seated today, then that's also fine. Close your eyes, take a nice long lazy inhale and then sigh out and completely collapse against the floor.
Start to move your fingers and your toes, just bringing life back into your body. We're just going to sit together for a few moments. If you do want to stay lying down, that's also fine. So once you're ready, you can stretch your arms behind your head, point your toes, take a big inhale, stretch out, and then sigh out and just roll over to one side. Just staying there in a humble fetal position for a few moments. And then whenever you're ready, meet me up in a comfortable seated position of your choice. Again, anything that is really, really comfortable. Just a few moments of silence. So we end the class the same way we started. Seated. Sitting with a spine gently tall. So not forcing this, you're not creating stiffness, just lengthening gently through the crown of the head and at the same time sinking down through the sit bones. Relax your belly and breathe. Again, stay connected with your breath. By the words of Gary Zukav, he says, We cannot control what happens, but we can control our happiness or lack thereof. The universe is compassionate and wise. What can you learn from life the way it is? So I leave with you with this little message. And if you'd like to stay a little bit longer, I will be attaching a little video by the man himself. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Remember that whatever happens right now in this world is, <laughs> it is what it is. Make the best of your life. Stay connected with your breath and with your body more often. All is well. If you'd like to join me here, bring the palms to touch and then bow down to yourself, the universe, the wisdom within. Namaste. The question is, how shall you respond to it? Yeah. And I am suggesting that a healthy way to respond to it is to see what you can learn from your life the way it is. Now, you have to trust that there is something to learn from what is happening to you and that your life is meaningful, it's powerful, it's purposeful. And your purpose on the earth is to align yourself with the highest aspect of yourself or your soul, that part that, part that longs for harmony and cooperation and sharing and reverence for life. And you can't get there overnight and you can't even begin the journey while you are looking at life as unfair.